This week's video is a short one about a common issue that happens to all airbrushes every now and then. It's about a partial clog of the nozzle. Now, it's not enough for the airbrush to actually stop spraying paint, but it's enough of a clog to kill any detail or control of your airbrush. Last week, I was using my Iwata Revolution to paint in the background of this painting. I was finishing up some of this out of focus tree trunk and some of these dark shadows on the left side of this painting. All was going well, the airbrush was spraying great, doing exactly what I wanted it to, but then at some point I just started to notice that it wasn't spraying correctly. It started to feel very inconsistent and I noticed that I needed to pull back farther on the trigger than I normally did in order to spray paint. Now I've been doing this for a while and I knew right away exactly what was going on. I knew that something was up with the nozzle, most likely a partial clog. When you just have a little bit of dried paint stuck inside the nozzle, it's usually not enough to stop the airbrush from spraying paint, but it's enough to make it spray poorly and just feel very inconsistent. One quick way to test this is to retract the needle and reinsert it a few times like what I'm doing here. You should be able to feel a positive stop where the needle seats into the nozzle, but here I was noticing kind of a squishy feeling, meaning that there was definitely something in the nozzle. And just make sure that you don't use any real pressure on this, you just wanna make sure that you insert the needle gently. If that partial clog is very small, you're not going to feel anything with the needle test. But if you just feel like the airbrush is not spraying as well as it used to, I recommend trying this out. What I'm doing here is unscrewing the front of the airbrush, that nozzle cap. And because this airbrush, the Iwata Revolution, has one of those small screw-in nozzles, I'm going to use this tool to remove it. If you have an airbrush with a small nozzle like this, I always recommend picking up this tool. It just makes it so much easier to do and much less likely to break. But if your airbrush has a larger floating self-centering nozzle, this cleaning process is going to be so much easier to do. These small screw-in nozzles are just a bit more difficult, but anyone can do it and it's pretty straightforward. And then all I want to do from here is take a needle. A spare needle is best, but the one from your airbrush will work just fine. And then just very gently, and I mean that, gently feel around inside the back of the nozzle for anything that feels soft or seems to block the needle tip. I'll retract the needle back and forth and then work my way around the sides and the edges inside this nozzle. If you feel something like some dried paint, what I like to do is again very gently try to push it forward. This one actually turned out to be a pretty large clog of dried paint. I'm switching to my macro lens here so that you could see this more clearly. After I felt some dried paint on the side of the nozzle, I guided it forward with my needle. And then once you see some of it sticking out of the front of the nozzle, you could just gently push it forward. And in most cases, it'll come right out. Because of the macro lens, this clog looks a lot larger than it actually was. But it wasn't enough to fully block the nozzle itself because the airbrush was still spraying paint. It must have just been stuck somewhere on the side of the nozzle and it was just causing a lot of control issues. Then once this clog was out, the airbrush was spraying like new again. Then I just needed to put the airbrush back together. So I used this tool which holds the nozzle so I could place it on and then screw it back in place. When you screw in a nozzle like this, you can't use any pressure. You have to do this very, very lightly. Nozzle threads are very soft, and if you use too much pressure, it's pretty easy to break it. Then screw back on the air cap, reinsert this needle, and this airbrush is back to spring like it's supposed to. So now a few tips. Sometimes the clog is very large. When you have a large clog, it's pretty obvious because the airbrush is not gonna spray paint. You'll also notice that when you press down and pull back for air, you're gonna see bubbles in the cup. That means you have a clog in the nozzle fully blocking the paint flow. If that clog of dried paint is too large to push through the front of the nozzle, like I just showed, then you're gonna to need to use a solvent to help soften it and break it down. The solvent that you need depends on the type of paint that you're using. Acetone works pretty well for most types of paint, solvent and water-based, but these days I only use water-based acrylics, and my favorite is this stuff called 4008 Restore, and that's made by Createx. I'll pour some of this stuff in a glass jar and then I'll just soak the nozzle and the nozzle head in it. And I'll do this for about 10 minutes and after that time the clog usually just falls out on its own. But if it doesn't, at this point it's usually soft enough just to poke out the front of the airbrush like I showed before. Just make sure that you rinse off all these parts with some water before you install them back on the airbrush. And sometimes that partial clog is too small to feel with the needle or to push out. So again, just soak it in this solvent and then you can kind of use some tweezers to shake it around. Usually it'll fall right out. 
And finally, if that clog is small and hasn't yet dried inside the nozzle, a lot of times you could just add some distilled water into your airbrush and then bump the PSI up on your compressor to like 40 or so. Then just hold down on the airbrush trigger and pull back the needle a few times and make sure you pull it all the way back. And a lot of times that higher PSI will just force that clog right out the front. And a higher PSI like 35 or 40 to flush out clogs isn't going to hurt your airbrush, so there's no need to worry about it. So that's it. That's my quick tip on dealing with partial clogs of the nozzle. Fortunately, this doesn't happen that often. I'm painting pretty much every day, and this happens to me once, maybe twice a year. And in my experience, the most common way that this tends to happen is just some of the dried paint from the paint cap fell into the airbrush cup. So if you notice that your airbrush isn't spraying as well as it used to, I'd recommend trying this out. Thank you for watching, and thank you so much to the generous support of the channel members. First of all, I'd like to welcome Jonathan and Jason. Thank you guys for joining. I'd also like to thank Serge for upgrading to a tier 3. That was very nice of you, so thank you. And I also want to say thank you to Marco for the super thanks in the video from a few weeks ago. And of course, thank you so much to the current channel members that you see scrolling up on the screen right now. I will be personally thanking all of you in next week's video, especially some of the long-term members. You guys have been so generous, so thank you so much. I'll be back here next week. We're going to get back to some painting, the one that you saw earlier in this video. So I'll see you back here then.